Okay, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at how we can create a bar graph whereby the total amount of sales for each year are represented within the graph with the year being underneath each bar. So first off, I'm going to delete this graph here and show you how I did this. Uh, under your tabs, typically you're under the home tab, you can click on charts or you can go to the insert chart menu and that will bring up a range of the different types of charts that you can create. I'm going to select my two series of data and I'm going to go to chart and choose clustered column and this brings up a meaningless uh, graph to begin with but I'm going to hit the select button here and I'm going to delete the series that are currently there and then I'm going to add a new series and for the x-axis I'm going to click into this field and then come over here and click down on 2010 and drag all the way down to 2015. Okay, and right now you can see 2010 is showing up, but there's only one series here. Let's go over to the Y axis, delete what's there and select the second column, which is the sales. Click the first number and drag down and then our graph starts to take shape. I'll click OK here. Now once we have that selected, I'm going to come inside the graph, click this legend and delete it, give more room to my graph, and then go under the chart layout submenu for charts and start adding axis titles. So if I go to the axis titles and choose vertical and a rotated title, I can then click inside here. You can see my cursor is blinking. I'll do command A to select all and delete what's there and type sales in millions and put the dollar sign. Uh, I don't really have to label the x-axis as years because it's pretty self-evident but you might want to give your chart a title and so for this one we'll put growth of sales. And there you have it. Now you can simply take this chart, copy it, paste it into your Word document. And uh, if you save this table and chart from Excel and you save your Word document afterwards, any changes that you make to your Excel document afterwards should automatically be updated the next time you open your Word document.